the bottom line is we likely will see an uptick in cases uh, as we've seen in the European countries, particularly the UK. That COVID-19 heads up for the U.S. from the country's top infectious diseases expert who's pointing to factors like Omicron's BA2 subvariant and loosening restrictions. Now, as more countries are easing the rules, China is stepping up measures, and that country just reporting its first COVID deaths in more than a year. Battling its worst known COVID outbreak since the virus first emerged in Wuhan in 2020, Mainland China confirming two coronavirus fatalities in the country's northeast, where travel bans are in effect as cases surge, driven by Omicron. Now, both of the patients were elderly and one hadn't been vaccinated, authorities say. Compare that to all of 2021. China reported only two COVID deaths in January last year. Nationwide, roughly 2,000 daily cases have been recorded recently. Low numbers by international standards, but China has a strict zero COVID policy. Hong Kong, which counts its COVID numbers separately, is now seeing cases decline. The city's leader says she plans to review restrictions Monday. While warning there is a chance infections could rebound. The outbreak here has been devastating in recent weeks, leading Hong Kong to have the world's highest death rate. Low vaccination rates among the older population believed to be a factor. The pandemic is far from over. The WHO warns after more than a month of decline, cases started to increase around the world last week, with the biggest jumps in places like China and South Korea. And there's some growth in Europe. The agency pointing to a few causes, like Omicron and its BA2 subvariant, along with easing health measures. Sadly, we're still seeing between 60,000 and 70,000 deaths. So we are definitely in the middle of the pandemic. Following several weeks of declining activity nationally, the average daily case counts are now leveling off. Here in Canada, the chief public health officer saying Friday, as restrictions ease and masking in many places is becoming a personal decision, increased levels of transmission are not unexpected. Even if there's a spring blip, um, we're seeing some of that going on in the United Kingdom and European countries. It may well happen to us, um, but to keep it manageable, get vaccinated. Back to that question about mask, I think a more common message it, not to confuse the general public, is that keep the layer of masking as much as possible. But you always have to have the flexibility. Remember Back to the U.S., CDC Dr. Anthony Fauci says he doesn't expect a return metrics. to strict rules, but does note there will likely be an uptick in cases. Hopefully we won't see a surge. I don't think we will. Now we can expect to see an increase. Fauci is 81 years old, and he was asked in that interview about retiring something he said he would consider once the pandemic is over. No plans for it just yet, though. He says he wants to make sure we are really out of this first. Melissa Duggan, City News.